Welcome to All You Need To Know About Imaging This or That. In this quick video, we're going to give you some tips and tricks to help you get the best possible image for this target. Let's go! So you're going to find M104 in the constellation of Virgo, which is a very busy constellation because it's full of galaxies. It is located 28 million light years away. It's not too far from other deep sky objects, like for example the globular cluster M68, the Antenna galaxies in Corvus, and a bunch of other galaxies in the Virgo supercluster, including Macarian's chain. The best time to capture it is in spring. And that's right now. Yes. <laughs> M104 is also known as the Sombrero Galaxy, my right favorite now. galaxy. <laughs> it has a magnitude of 8, which makes it kind of faint, but it is very luminous so that the galaxy is very obvious when you're pointing at it with your camera. The sombrero holds the biggest supermassive black hole ever recorded in any nearby galaxy, and it has a mass of more than a billion suns, which That's is crazy. a crazy amount of suns, really. And this also impacts its brightness, as it is the brightest galaxy in the 10 megaparsec radius of the Milky Way. Wow, small but mighty. Yeah, because M104 is very small, being only 30% of the size of the Milky Way, and it is seen edge-on from Earth, so the best way to capture it is with a large telescope. It also does not help that it's getting farther away from Earth at a rate of 1000 km per second. This is M104 by the Hubble Space Telescope. As you can see, it has a really, really bright core and dark spiral arms. You can image this target with both a DSLR camera or a cooled camera and do not need any specific filter as it is a great broadband target. As a starting point, we suggest taking 3 minute exposures and spend at least 3 hours on it. Here is a single shot from our setup taken from a Bottle 4 zone. We imaged this object only once so far and it was with our DSLR camera and our 8 inch Newtonian telescope back in the days. It was a long time ago. Back in the days. We made a video about it, which is episode 6 of Galactic Hunter, if you want to check it out. It's, uh, it was a fun one to film. Yeah, it's the one where we're like this, in the thumbnail. <laughs> That's fun. So yeah, we spent 3 hours on it at ISO 400, and yeah, our final image looks pretty good, I mean, for the time, so yeah, still, still a beautiful image. You might notice a beautiful set of stars nearby, and this is actually a known asterism designated as the Jaws, and it's very pretty and colorful. Yeah, beautiful stars. Processing was a pain because I remember I was still learning PixInsight, and some of the steps were not very easy to follow. Now it really makes me want to try again, like to just reshoot the target and reprocess everything. And, uh, and see how much improvement we could see. Right, I mean, well, if, if it was the one we had or new, it's been a couple of years. Yeah, a long time ago. So, anyway, M104 is not the easiest target for beginners, but, you know, we were kind of beginners when we did it, and it turned out pretty okay. So, I mean, now it's your turn to give it a try. Go for it. And so, we hope that this video helped you kind of understand this target a little bit more and prepares you on how to image it. We would all love to see your image, so if you'd like, you can click on the target on our website and attach your image in the comment section. We would love to see it. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Thanks.